Good morning, beautiful people. Just had my morning tea, got ready and everything. It is currently a Sunday, so it's Easter Sunday. Hope you all have been having a pretty good long weekend. As you guys saw, whilst I was making this tea, can I just say, this is the best little like device ever. So if you have loose leaf tea, um, you put it in here and you can like get a cup or two cups worth out of it. It tastes so good. It's so convenient and easy. My cousin Lauren got me this for me like two Christmases ago and highly recommend because I'm currently out of normal tea bags so I've just been having this loose leaf tea and it's pretty amazing but anyways today we are going to go to have yum cha and I'm also going to show you guys our balcony I don't think we've ever given you a tour of our balcony because I don't know what happened the last like year or so our balcony has been really really bad like we bought all this brand new furniture when we moved into this house and for some reason where we currently live it's just super super windy so like a couple months after summer and enjoying the furniture for like yeah, literally two months all the furniture blew around it <laughs> it honestly blew to our neighbors two doors across and when you guys see it later you'll be like what the heck how did this even happen so our furniture got destroyed like um our glass table broke and everything silly having a glass table that's our own fault but yeah it was a hot mess so the last two days whilst we've had off we've actually been fixing it cleaning our balcony and making it pretty much back to new again we're still missing a couple things but we will show you guys later on in this video anyways if you guys enjoy this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up thank you so much and we'll also answer a few questions that we've been having from our previous videos because a lot of people have been asking stuff for the vlog so let's enjoy this day and i hope you guys are having a beautiful day evening or night wherever you are in the world let's go get some food just thought I would quickly show you guys what I am wearing today. I thought because it's Easter I would dress a little bit girly-ish. So I'm wearing like this skirt and I think this is one of our last like warm days. Just with a white tee and some Alexander McQueen's like these shoes because they give me a little bit of height. But yes, this is what I'm wearing. Usually we also go see like my family and stuff. But I don't think we had anything planned. So that's why we're going to treat ourselves to some yum cha today. Which I'm so excited about. I've been wanting like chicken feet and dumplings for a while. So... Hopefully it's good and we get a table. You're trying to play games, mate. <laughs> You're trying to play games on the computer, eh? Sometimes I feel like I'm dating a child. He asked if we can go to the toy shop first. Like <laughs> Mulan car, babe. It's a Mulan car. Love Mulan though, but um, yes, every time we walk past the toy shop, he's like, can we go in here? I just want to find like a Hot Wheels because these Hot Wheels are really, really cool. They've got, like they've got this cool collection. Look at this one. They have like, like like really cool JDM cars. Mm, interesting. This toy shop's really, really cheap as well. It's called uh, Toy World. Everything's always like on sale. Okay, all right, so we have come to Goldleaf Yamcha and everyone has my idea. This place is so busy that there's like people sitting all outside. We're waiting in line for a table. And there's also so many people downstairs as well. Heaps. For some reason, I thought Easter Sunday, everyone would be like at home with their family. <laughs> Okay, so we made it into our Yamcha. We've been eating for like 10 minutes, but this is wild. We came here before. We got Chinese broccoli. So expensive. Food good. This is the most expensive one. Yeah, that's expensive. We always show you every time we eat, so we're just going to enjoy this. Do I, do I have this figured out? This is the cheapest one. Is it? Yeah, look, she, it's literally just a, the normal one. And then this one's like the special one. Interesting. Yeah, and all this is like just the normal like dim sum. Yeah, so we got a bunch of stuff. Usually we spend about like 60 or so dollars, so we'll see what this comes to. Well, this took me so long to realize what I was doing with this camera, but we are underrated as well. Uh, as you guys know, this is just literally around the corner from our house and we're just doing some shopping. They have um, like a crazy range of essential stuff. So if you ever need essential stuff, this is like the place to go to, don't you reckon? Yeah, like, definitely. So we get stuff. yeah, we get all our stuff pretty much from here. Like anything that I need that, that like is high beastie or like branded stuff. And um, we've been actually trying to shop for uh, jewelry stuff for a while now. And no one actually stocks this anywhere in Australia. And I know I can just probably just get it online, but I like uh, supporting my, my mates. And um, they always have the craziest things here. Like you, like Philly said, like the amount of essentials they have here. Like I actually low key like like these, not this one, these tees, this one here. I just feel like I'm too small to have like this across my back though. Oh, because like our backs, yeah, our backs are not like that wide. Yeah. And we actually low key like like these. Oh yeah, I really want that sweater. It's 
<laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, that's gonna be huge on me as well. That's why we haven't got it. And they obviously do online orders whilst in this little um, corner. Also, look at this, guys. If you have been to a pop up in Melbourne, you would remember this. Yeah, so we still left our uh, cocaine chair here. They still have it and they still rock it, which is everyone loves this show. And um, yeah, this is where we get our shoes. Every, oh, yo, this is mad. Babe, they're copying you. <laughs> <laughs> they're copying me. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, yeah, everything else is here. Really, really enjoyed this place. But um, there's a jacket that I wanted from here. This one here. Uh, if anyone has this a. One I want it with... Oh, yeah, I want this. Yeah. Can we get on to share? Yeah, but they don't have our size. Oh. Like, we can share They're this. So nice. Yeah, this is insane. This. Ch uh, Cactus Plant Flea Market. Oh. That's the brand. I thought it was like Beauty or something. Nah, no. <laughs> but, uh, no. This is, it looks this... like something he'd make, though. This is a, I, I'm uh, nearly 100% sure it's a gospel, um, gospel or Bible quote. Yeah, that's why yeah, I thought. Yeah, yeah. And this is cool. It's an old school bull jacket. Um, oh, this is cool. I like, I, I, we just like going shopping just for the sake of like touching, feeling stuff, getting ideas, seeing what people are using for fabrics and stuff like that. How cool is that? It's like straight up a carpet. It's like that thing we're trying to do. Yeah, yeah. That's something that we have tried in the past and just haven't been successful. Anyway guys, let's go. Yep, we're gonna go home. Oh, oh. okay, alright, bye. And why to a lady? And why to a lady? I like getting money, I got time to get it. Target on me, so my car's a tenny. Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it. Bobbing in a dash and the stick is with it. And I hit the four or five on the way. Side, but I'm from the east side. This how we slide. This how we ride. Yeah, yeah. This how we ride. Three, two, one, big <laughs> Oh, I knew it. I could just tell. Ow, mate. Oh, thanks for the kisses, but you're just too much. Anyways, we are back home now. We did a little bit of shopping whilst we were out, so I'll do a little bit of a haul of the things we got. So, I got myself an ultra ultra sport gel comfort insole with arc support for sporty feet so someone recommended me to buy some inner soles to put in the dior shoes that how it got me because they're a little bit too big for my foot because i have a really narrow foot so i got these we're going to insert them and see if it helps and makes a little bit of a difference i'm really hoping so because i think i still will have to wear like thick socks because it is about half a size to one size maybe i don't think one size maybe half size big so hopefully this works i also went to uniqlo and i got some t-shirts these feel so good these are women's t-shirt how loves wearing all his like men's t-shirts from there but this one is like a really like nice thick crew neck t-shirt it's kind of a bit of like a fitted slash oversized fit it was 15 dollars, so i got two i got a white one and like this nice like light green kind of army olive type of color, which is perfect. And also, I got myself a shacket. I've been like liking shackets and wanting one. I want like a flannel type shacket, but I got this one here. It's like a shirt, a shirt slash jacket. So it's a little bit thicker than a shirt, so that's why it's called a shacket. And this one was on sale for $29.90. So yesterday we actually also went to High Point. And I got myself the black one because I didn't have this cream one in my color. And when we were at Uniqlo downstairs, which at a different location, I saw this one. So I was like, you know what, let's get this. Let me show you what it looks like. It's actually super comfortable. And I think I will wear the cream one more. I should have just been patient and waited to get the cream. But this is what it looks like. It's so nice. It was on sale and I am obsessed with it. Also, because it's coming up to be cooler winter, cooler, cooler weather. I'll be able to wear this more. What else did we get? Oh, I got some hair dye right here. So I'm going to dye my hair. These little raggly ratchet bits are going to be going away because my regrowth is insane at the moment. So I'm going to dye my hair later today. Also got some donuts to take away. And we have another little thing. Do you want to show them, babe? Okay. We got... Dun, da, da, da. We got Drew House t-shirts from Underrated. So finally, I, I mean, I, you guys know right now I love Justin Bieber. So I actually have it. We have one each. So I'll open Cow's one first. Do you know what reminds me of it? CDG. 
Um, this one here is house one. It's a polka dot Drew house one. It's super, super cute. And as you were saying, reminds me him of CDG. He got the size small. Now the sizing for these t-shirts are really, really big. He tried on the medium and it looked like a large or extra large fit. Even this size small is an oversized look for him, but actually looks really, really nice. As for me, this is the one that I got. This is the just the black one. I feel like I wear this all the time. It's a size extra, extra small. So I reckon this one's still going to be an oversized fit for me. But nonetheless, I will still like it because I love my oversized stuff. And this obviously, as you probably know, this was from underrated store, Drew House. Anyways, let's show you guys. I'm sure you've been waiting since the title of this video. Our balcony. Alright, so to our balcony, we have the sliding door. We've of course got a doggy door for Honey and Biggie so that they can go in and out whenever they please. We don't have to like uh, open this sliding door. This is like super convenient. And then as you guys can see, I'm hoping it's not going to be really windy when we go out. But this right here is our balcony. So it's really, really big. This place is actually bigger, I feel like, than our entire house. So starting over here, we've just got these two like little like lounge chairs. We have this. This is what I was talking about earlier on where it is so windy out here. You probably can actually hear from like um, the camera right now. Oh, there we go, Figgy. These actually flew across this fence into next door neighbor. Like next door neighbor and the next door neighbor after that's balcony. So if you look closely, they're kind of like bent and distorted, which is pretty crazy. And four of our, three of our cushions and three backs actually flew away as well so we need to buy some replacements that's why it's kind of looking like that but this is our chair this was like perfect for new year's eve two years ago so good we've got our dining table this one was in our last house inside i remember i got this and i was so obsessed but we couldn't fit it anywhere inside so we put it out here it is honestly getting a little bit rusty at the bottom but we do have like this protective layer over the top to stop the water like rusting the wood or whatever we've got some chairs i think one of them actually to be honest we had five or no we had six but one of them is missing so i don't know if that flew away or what happened to that that's actually really random over in this little corner right here here is our barbecue so essentially what happened was all of the furniture that was over here was actually just lined up along here all just like stacked up really really messy and bad so this is what it looks like now and if you guys can see this is proof at how bad it was when everything flew away like our fence is broken it's like missing a bit at the top it got caught and everything it was like a whole mess but yes this is our balcony um we've also got our little area of like brooms and things like that and this is where honey and biggie go to all i used to have like a real grass section but that was so hard to maintain so we just have the fake grass and now they're used to using this and biggie likes to pee on either this or that and we've got a hose up there we've got the pressure hose which we'll need to go back home tomorrow anyways it is super super windy outside so i'm hoping you could hear pretty much everything that i was saying so happy and glad that we kind of got to show you what our balcony used to look like prior before it got ruined I feel like maybe in a week or so is going to be the big test to see whether or not the furniture will stay in place. We have fixed it though and put like concrete uh, little bollards at the bottom of the chair so they don't fly away again. But fingers crossed it doesn't happen and it can stay like this. But yeah, it was good to enjoy this last weekend because it was like 30 degrees the last couple of days. Anyways, we're going to end the video here. I have to quickly end this because I think my memory card is going to end soon. But we're going to do the question of the day and start this so today's question has been from a couple of vlogs ago but we keep forgetting to do this so it's happening from now on it is from jordan hubbub and he asked a couple questions or she asked um where are the places you plan on traveling together so what after covid or yeah after obviously after covid we're not going to be able to travel for a while to be honest so the first place that we're actually looking to travel is uh back to japan uh, oh. That? that was a weird noise. That was a weird noise, honey. Uh, we're going to go back to Japan and then probably pop by Korea to visit our friend uh, Dan because he's currently uh, opening up foot lockers in Korea, which is insane of a fucking job. Mm -hmm. But we, uh, the reasons why we want to go to Japan and Korea is just to get uh, inspiration. inspiration. Inspiration, sort of just check out places like that because you guys already know that we've gone to Japan uh, a whole bunch of times and it, at Japan will just be like a three, four day trip at... Three to four day trip at tops and then Korea for maybe like five, six days. Mm -hmm. um, 
<laughs> These dog guys are making what weird noise. Oh, Speaking God. of them, what breeds are your dogs? Uh, Paparanian. Paparanian. So they're half Papillions. Honey's half uh, a oh. Papillion and, and a Pom. Pom Pomeranian. And then Biggie is... One quarter Papillion, three quarters, quarters Pom Pom Pomeranian. Yeah, because Honey is... <laughs> honey is Biggie's mum. Yeah. Yeah. And then last question is... What are you most proud of? Can be personal or business related from 2020. So, last year, what were you most proud of? Stop. I think for me, oh. it's the fact that we were able to work through the pandemic and everything oh. because it was such a crazy year. We had no idea what was going to happen and our businesses still stayed afloat. We're, still, oh. we're also still together because I know like a lot of it, people, oh. it's hard to live and work and we're like with each other 24 seven. But I mean, we're used to that. So oh. we survived it. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. These dog are being weird, really weird right now. They're just being really excited for no reason. Okay. For me personally, it's cocaine was like like Phil was saying that uh, we were still able to work. It actually still grew uh, to the percentage of what we were happy with and what we wanted it to be with. Because as a lot of you guys knew, um, a lot of businesses went under, and we were we weren't one of them. Actually, yeah, all like, our businesses. I think we're didn't super grateful under. for that. that yeah. Nothing really. It didn't affect us negatively. I mean. And and I hate to say it, like we're. We're proud to say that our business won't go under un, under for a, pa a pandemic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, so our business will still survive under a pandemic. So that that just proves that our business strategy and our business marketing and all that uh, does really Ooh. well. Okay, <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so you guys understand that. Anyway. If you guys want to leave any uh, questions like that down below, please feel free to. We want to put these parts in our YouTube videos, our YouTube videos much more for mm -hmm. you guys, so you guys can see everything, understand everything, yeah. and, and just stuff be like, like that. random questions. As you guys saw, these were just a bunch of different questions, and we like enjoying them. And oh, and, them. and shout out to everyone that comes up to. I don't know just why it doesn't happen to you, but it happens to me all the fucking time what? that people come up to be like, "Hey, you guys are how you feel?" Like on well, whilst I DJ. Like they were showing me our Instagram account or YouTube account. So shout out to you guys. Sometimes I might be like, I'm doing something. And I think I, I have I, a face where it's like, don't come up to me. That's why no one comes up to me. I'm yeah. a bit, if I look really like mean, it's because I'm like shy and concentrated. No, concentrated. concentrated. I'm both. Anyway guys, so shout out to you guys. If you guys want to come say hi to us and whatever, we are more than happy to. But like whilst I'm DJing and I'm like, like trying to mix a song, please don't. Like, like, please understand that I'm doing my job. I'm here just to do a job. Like, that's, that's me. Okay. I, yeah. Peace. All right. Bye, guys.